Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, real quick video talking about how to sharpen nail clippers. Um, this is something that a lot of people don't do. Uh, nail clippers are extremely cheap. You can go to the dollar store and probably get a pair for a dollar, but let's say, I don't know, you spring for the real expensive ones and you throw five dollars at the whole situation, then so be it. So because they're, you know, as expensive as five bucks and as cheap as a buck, most people don't bother to sharpen them. But it's a good idea every now and then. You know, why not? Five bucks is still five bucks, right? So the first thing um, to show you is that these, these are not nail clippers, these are actually toenail clippers, they're larger, I'm using these for a reference. Toenail clipper, or excuse me, uh, fingernail clippers would be a lot shorter like this. All right, but toenail clippers are bigger, literally just because your, your, your toes are a little bit bigger. Uh, but anyway, I'm using this for, uh, for reference purposes. The first thing you wanna do is take it apart. And this part of the video is just as exciting as the rest because believe it or not, there's a lot of people that don't know that these fingernail clippers and toenail clippers do come apart and they come apart very easily. We all know you spin it around and there you go. That's what you know pushes it down. There's a little bit of a bend in there. So it stores like this, nice and flat. Flip it around and it pushes the blades together, right? Well, if you push the blades together by themselves, you'll see as I spin this that this pin has a hook in it. All right, that's how you take these apart and put them back together again. Um, if you didn't know that, now you do. And here's where I tell you, please take them apart right now if you've never done so before and clean in there because you're obviously harboring tons and tons of bacteria and germs and nasty crapola. So pinch the blades together. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit of a tension. Face that hook outwards and take it apart. And of course, when you let go, this pin's gonna fall out. So there you go. Now in pretty much every single pair that I've seen, uh, both blades, you know, or handles, let's call them, um, they're riveted together. And then in most cases, you're gonna have some kind of a nail cleaner tool in there, all right? So basically you can't take these apart. Now ideally, if you had one, and if there's a pair like this out there, let me know about it. If you had one that had a little screw here or something, so you could actually take them apart, you know, completely, uh, you can sharpen them even better. But basically, this is what we have. We have two angled blades. It obviously forms, you know, conforms the, uh, the curvature in your nails, you know, your toenails for this particular one. And all you have to do to sharpen these is just run a uh, ceramic rod, okay, pinch them together, run a ceramic rod uh, across them back and forth. All right, if you uh, have them, they're moderately sharp and you know, they're just okay, they're not dull. I mean, obviously, if they're gonna get dull, you're just gonna buy a new pair. But the whole idea behind here is basically maintain them. So every now and then, you know, you don't cut your nails that often, I don't know, maybe once every two weeks or three weeks. Uh, they don't grow that fast. Um, I would recommend actually polishing this. If you were to take any kind of dowel, any kind of round surface like this, does not have to be a sharpening stone or anything like that. Put some really fine sandpaper around that, okay? Wrap it around and just rub back and forth. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna polish up these flat ends of the blades, okay? And by doing so, you're going to make the uh, edge a little bit more acute, therefore a little bit sharper, okay? You don't want to struggle when you're clipping your fingernails or toenails, all right? Because then obviously then you can get offline, you can cut into your cuticle, it's very painful. I'd rather get gashed across the arm trying to chop a piece of wood than cut a nail too short. If you've ever experienced that or had a nail ripped out or you know, just a oh, horrible, horrible pain. Uh, I don't know what it is, it's very sensitive area in your, your cuticle beds and all that crap. So anyway, hopefully this video was informative. Um, if nothing else, besides, because most people, you get to see this and go, oh, that's cool. You never get to sharpen it. That's okay, you don't have to lie to yourself, you don't have to lie to us. Um, but, if nothing else at all, I wanna make this video to basically show people how to take these apart. Um, simply because of the fact, I know there's a lot of people who don't. All right, once you get them apart, take a uh, Q-tip or a cotton swab or whatever, put some um, alcohol in there, rubbing alcohol, and just wipe all inside there. It's harvesting a lot of germs, a lot of bacteria and stuff, and you know, more times than not, it's probably not gonna be a problem. You know, use them to cut your nails, you get dirty nail funk in there. Um, it might not hurt anything. You, you, some people do this their whole life and never have a problem with it. But I'm just telling you, now that you know, there's no real excuse not to. So yeah, clean those out real nice when you're done using them. And then put it back together. It's very, very simple. It's obviously just the reverse process here. All right, so make sure that the rivet part 
is through the bottom. Pinch these together. And put this back on. Now it doesn't matter which way you put it back on because obviously it can spin and rotate to get into the right position. But face the hook outward. Okay, put it through. And there you go. So that is how to sharpen and disassemble and reassemble nail clippers. I know that doesn't seem like a very exciting video, but trust me, there's plenty of people out there who just watch this. Thank you for watching, by the way, and you learned something. For the rest of you guys, well, maybe you'll learn something in the next video. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you soon. And that's it. Take care.